Nowadays, sweat tests are becoming more and more important in the field of medical health management. At the same time, sweat is not easily collected by all people at all times. Therefore, it is necessary to use the Hilo wearable sweat inducer that we are introducing today. First of all, this is the Hilo sweat inducer. Now, as we open the box, we can see the manual detailing how to use this instrument. Please be sure to read the manual carefully before using the instrument. This is our sweet inducer host and two Velcro straps. The other box is our consumables box, equipped with positive and negative ionized hydrogel discs. Each tube has 20 tablets. The box is still designed with a top and bottom floor. The lower floor is placed with 20 sets of pasteurized droppers, sweat collection discs, and alcohol pads. Our sweat inducer is exquisite and compact, designed to be wearable, and the upper interface uses a Type-C mode for charging. Here, we officially start to enter the sweat collecting session. We need to long press the middle switch to turn on the device. First, we unpack the kit and take out the alcohol cotton pad to clean the forearm. The area we choose is located between the wrist and elbow joints, choosing the area with the most flesh. Now we need to open the protective cover on the back of the sweat inducer and take out one gel tablet each and install it into the corresponding groove. And you can pass the straps through the sides of the sweat inducer and secure them to the arm, not too tightly to prevent damage to the gels. Now the next step we have to do is start the ion introduction. We set three current levels. One level 1.5 MA needs to take about five minutes. Two level is 1.75 MA requiring around four minutes. And level three for 2.5 0 MA, only 3 minutes. Choose gear 3 at this time. And now I only have some slight sensation, but not at all painful. It's very nice and freeing to be able to not stay still and working and not interfere with anything else I'm doing at all. After 3 minutes, it now shows that the ion introduction is over and our wearable sweat inducer were automatically shut off and prompt to wear the sweat collection discs for sweat collecting. Our next step will insert the barometric dropper into the top recess of the sweat disc as hard as possible to the bottom. Then remove the strap from the sweat inducer, tie it to the sweat collection discs, and tie the sweat collection disc at the red mark of the skin corresponding to the positive pole, at which point we will make sure the sweat collection disc must fit snugly on the skin because we rely on the hydrolysis of sweat glands to collect the sweat. Next. We just need to wait for the sweat to flow down. It does not take too long, about a few minutes. At the same time, we can use the ring to grip and relax back and forth a dozen times to speed up the speed of sweating. Now we can see that some sweat is beginning to flow into the dropper. Then we need to clean the grooves of the sweat inducer and wipe off any excess contaminants with a little bit of water or an alcohol pad. This brings us to the end of the test. Thank you for watching.